Hello and welcome to Julie Hall Designs and our Rock the Casbah collection. Today I'm going to show you block 17. You will see that block 17 has a heart in each corner that is highlighted with um, uh, satin stitch detailing. It is quilted with a beautiful quilting design which I've called slightly squared and then each heart is highlighted with this echoing stitching around it as well. Okay, let's get started. And to begin with, we're going to take our cutaway stabilizer, lay our embroiderer's felt on top, and with wash away thread in our needle only, we are going to come through and stitch colorway one, which is going to hold that embroiderer's felt down. Now, if you remove the hoop but leave the project in itself in the hoop we're now going to come through and trim away the excess embroiderers felt from around the design and what this is going to do is ensure that none of the bulk gets into our seams so you'll see that I'm using here sharp largish sort of scissors and that's because my regular applique small squeeze scissors just aren't big enough to cut through the wadding and the embroiderer's felt that I use. Now I'm going to take my pressed um, white 100% cotton fabric, lay it on top and with the wash away thread still in the needle I'm now going to stitch out colorway 2 which is going to then hold that fabric onto the block and you'll see that I'm smoothing this down as I go just to get a great finish on it. Now I'm going to come through and I'm going to change to my dark teal thread and I want to stitch colorway 3 which is going to outline where that first applique is going to go. So it's an applique heart and we are going to use our dark teal fabric. So colorway three does the outline. We lay the fabric on top. Because the heart doesn't go into the edge of the seam, we don't need to leave extra fabric. So we come around, lay the fabric over and then we're gonna stitch colorway four and that's going to stitch the heart down. Once we've done that, we're going to come along and using our um, squeeze scissors with the fine point, we're going to closely trim right around the block. So you can see here, I'm just pulling my hoop forward and excuse the hand but I'm using my squeeze scissors here. If you haven't tried them, check them out on our website. They are brilliant scissors and just perfect for getting into all of those corners. And we're going to finish trimming here. And once we've done that, we're going to return the hoop to its regular position. And then we are going to repeat the process on all four corners. So that is colorway five and six, seven and eight, and nine and ten. And what you're going to end up with are the four appliques one in each corner. Now a trick when you are using deeply colored fabrics such as I am here, pre-wash your fabrics. Um, when I say trick it's because I didn't do this and I have already had one block with a little bit of bleed on it um, which is incredibly frustrating. And I'll come through and trim that last block and now what we're going to do 
is with the dark teal thread still on, we are going to stitch colorway 11, which is going to do the satin stitch around the heart. Now you'll notice that this is not a regular satin stitch. It is actually a satin stitch that has varying widths throughout the heart design. As always, it is firmly underlaid so that it does not um, pucker and move around too much. And I'm just loving how well my thread matches up to this fabric and really allows it to then um, shine through. The satin stitching just gives it a little bit of bump in luxury. And the way that we've set the satin stitch is that it comes off in a curved shape around the top of the heart for added interest as well. Now, big questions that we've got regarding the quilt blocks. The first one is, do I have to use embroiderer's felt? No, you don't have to. Um, the other one is, what is embroiderer's felt called internationally? I've seen it called Parlon. Um, what you look, the reason that I use the embroiderer's felt is because it gives the stitches something to form around and it's not very thick. Back when I started embroidery um, 20 years ago, I used to use a little bit of pellon and I just found that it was a little bit too fibrous and over time it would disintegrate within the block. I find that that just doesn't happen with the embroiderer's felt. The other question that I get is, can I, um, you know, what colour fabrics can I use? Any that you wish, totally up to you. You can do each block in different colours if you wish. It's one of the joys of this quilt, it makes a great scrappy quilt. Um, when it comes to thread, I personally prefer polyester, but whatever you personally like is absolutely fine. And you can see now we're about to move on here to the fourth heart. Now, don't worry that my machine is stitching incredibly quickly. Um, in real life, I've stitched this on about four, five hundred stitches a minute. Um, sorry, about five, six hundred stitches a minute. But I have sped it up because otherwise it would bore you senseless. This entire block, it was one of the more... Um, intense blocks to do there is about an hour and a half of work in it and it just doesn't look like there is um, but with all of the different satin stitching going at different angles etc that's how much um, work it actually took me to do each of those blocks and I'm using an 1175 needle so I'm now coming through and I'm changing over to my light or medium teal thread and I'm going to stitch colorway 12 and colorway 12 is coming through and it is adding a highlight almost fleur-de-lis element to each of the blocks and what I love is just you can see as it's stitching out just how much of a pop of um, those stitches make. I am stitching on a nine inch block here. The blocks come in multiple sizes, so they are five, six, seven, eight, and nine inches. If you um, are looking to make a large quilt and you only have a smaller hoop, just make multiples of each block and change the colors. Um, and that's a really simple way to get extra use out of the designs themselves. Needle size um, that I've used, I've used an 1175 needle. And for the entire quilt, I've used four, three or four different needles over the time of stitching. So I found it was really... Um, 
not needle intense, if that makes any sense. Okay. So we're going to come through and that finishes off our teal. So now I'm going to change over to my deep pink thread and colorway 13 is going to stitch the echoing of the hearts around the sides. And the stitch that I've used here is a, um, it's a running stitch that follows the shape of the heart so it once again it adds texture and it just makes that applique block pop while we're doing the stitching it's a great time to prep your backing fabric and uh, make sure it's all lined make sure you've got your wadding ready for when we put the block together I have used a polyester wadding because it's what I had in the house. You can use whatever type of wadding you wish. The backing that I've got is also just something that I had hanging around. You could choose to use different colours on your backing and once again make everything that little bit different. Now I've threaded up my wine coloured thread and I'm going to stitch colourway 14 which is doing the internal block and it's doing the little diamond pattern just at the um, tip of each heart. So the, the middle block is a stitched block consisting of four different almost feather, something between a feather and a fleur-de-lis design. Um, I do love the way the colours have worked in this quilt. Um, and all come together and I'm loving seeing what other people are doing and how they're putting different blocks together and fabrics that they're using. I've seen some people using um, some, some Australian wildflower um, fabrics and I wouldn't have thought of it but it looks just gorgeous. And as we come around onto the third section now and then finally so everything gets outlined just to finish it off and here comes our fourth section when it comes to quilting, it is up to you how you want to quilt your block. Um, I have used um, polyester embroidery thread to do my quilting, uh, just because I like the look of it. I've also just used my bobbin fill on the back because I found it was strong enough. You can use cotton if you wish. And if you don't want to quilt each of these blocks in a quilt as you go method, just leave that part out. Okay, so I'm now going to re-thread with wash away thread and what I want to do is come and take the hoop off and flip it over and we are going to now put our wadding on the back. Excuse my arm here. So if we take our wadding lay it on the back, come through and I want to stitch colorway number 15 which is going to stitch that down. I can then come through with my thicker scissors and trim away all of the excess so that that wadding is not left in the seams of my project when I'm finished. I now take my backing fabric and lay the backing fabric on top of the wadding, flip it over and stitch colourway 16 still with the wash away thread. And what you will find with the wash away thread is that over the course of the project the fabric has sunk in, has um, sucked in a little bit 
and the block is now going to be it's still the nine inches in my case but it'll be a couple of millimeters in from where that initial line was that's okay because we're going to wash those seams out later now I'm going to thread my machine with the white embroidery thread and I'm going to stitch my final color which for me is colorway 17 here which is going to complete the block the quilting that I've done on this block is called slightly squared and I just thought it was a really interesting um, quilt design it almost looks like a circle and a square were were sort of brought together because of the way that it sinks in and out of each of the elements there are about four places around the block where you are going to have to trim jump stitches that's okay just trim up once that stitching is completed um, so if you did not want to quilt your project you would stop at the end of colorway 14 and then you could just use your block however you wish the other thing to take notice of is you also get the slightly squared block as a quilt block of its own and we've also given it to you in continuous quilting design as well so it's one of those blocks that you are going to be able to use for years and years to come let's have a look at our finished project I'm loving the way the block has turned out here um, I think that lighter teal within the heart really just finishes everything off so I hope you have enjoyed this block and that you'll join us next time for the next in the Rock the Casbah collection. Until then, have a stitching day. Bye.